Good morning, Celtic fans, and welcome back to the channel. It is Monday morning, and transfer speculation at Celtic has definitely ramped up. First of all, Big Gustav, we'll talk about him. Big Gustav has obviously played his last game for his club. He went on to speak about Celtic after his game yesterday. We'll talk about all the other transfer news in just a minute, so make sure that you hit the big thumbs up for this video because it does help with the algorithm to reach as many Celtic fans as possible. So Celtic are closing in on a three million deal for the big Ilsborg defender. Uh, the Swedish international spoke after his 1-0 defeat to Hammerby. He's, uh, he's obviously expected to be over and do his medical this week. And he said it's very much a fun challenge to come to a big club in Europe and <clears throat> play the Champions League and hopefully win titles. That would be so fun. It's a very big club with a good Swedish connection with Henrik Larsson, Starfelt, Lustig and the big Malby among others, to play the Champions League every year and win titles. The 23-year-old admitted that it would be fun. <laughs> and it will be fun because he knows that he'll be knocking down on the Rangers. Anyway, I know clubs have been in negotiation and that's what I know. Moving on from that, um, we're obviously bringing the big centre-half in. One big centre-half that did get rave reviews yesterday, and especially from Callum McGregor. He spoke about big Stephen Welsh after the game. He says Stephen Welsh was fearless, absolutely fearless. And um, he says that he had a siege mentality to make sure that he came in. He says also big Odin. Big Odin was forced into the fray uh, as a substitute for Rio Hutati, who sustained a knock to his calf. Uh, he's got a little calf injury. He says big Odin was absolutely fantastic also. So it's shown that the guys that are in the squad you can see the squad starting to take a little bit of shape now. It looks like um, Liam Scales will go out on loan to Aberdeen. It looks like Big Welsh will be one that is going to stick around. And he's talking about um, Big Odin. He says, I thought he was outstanding when he came on. He really calmed the game down. You saw the, uh, you saw the passes that he settled us and he played, he really played into rhythm. Yeah, he went on to say, also, I think Stephen Welsh has been outstanding for us in the last couple of weeks, and especially in training. It's always difficult to come in when you play, and then you drop out the team, and then you come back in to then drop out again. He says that Stephen has a resilience, especially as an academy player. He says, I know all about that. He says the fact that you can be in the team one minute and then get put back out again. He, Stephen is growing in stature, said Callum McGregor. He's a player who can be really important to us as well. So tell me what you think about that, because a lot of people were suggesting that Stephen Welsh, including myself, I thought Stephen Welsh uh, gets pushed out by Liam Scales. Uh, you know, he has to really go out and get some game time. It looks like the boss really likes him. He said I really like Stephen. He's a Celtic boy. He wants to be at the club, and I want him to be at the club. So it's going to be have, we're going to have plenty of cover and defence in the next couple of weeks. I still think that Celtic will go into the market and make another, uh, bring in another defender. Will it be Kieran Tierney? Will it be Kieran Tierney? The Kieran Tierney story does not seem to be going away. And uh, even though the transfer window doesn't shut until September the 1st, Tierney was left out of the game at Arsenal at the weekend. Arsenal are demanding up to 25 to 30 million for the player. Uh, he, you've got to remember, Kieran was absolutely fantastic. His first time at Celtic. Tell me in the comments what you think about Kieran Tierney. Coming back to Celtic, um, do you think it's a good thing I'm coming back on loan? Or will Celtic, will Celtic spend £25 million to bring Kieran Tierney back full-time? Tell me in the comments. Is that the type of big signing that we're looking for at Celtic? Would it be a statement signing, spending £25 million to bring Kieran Tierney? Or even a loan-to-buy deal with Kieran Tierney? Bring him back on one season for a loan, uh, which would then reduce his transfer uh, worth because, let's face it, he would have a year less on his contract, so Celtic would get him for that a little bit less. Would that be a good deal for Celtic? Brendan Rodgers has said that um, he's kind of dampened the spirits. He's kind of played it down uh, with Kieran Tierney. He says, but we can dream. We can dream, the manager has says. There is uh, two unknown clubs allegedly circling around for Lille Abada. Um, so I'm not too sure about that yet. Celtic are under no pressure to sell Abada. Um, Abada is going to be a big player for us this season. He is in contract to Celtic until 2026. 
What about Jota? We need to talk about Jota just briefly because um, after his 25 million switch to the big spend in Saudi Arabia, um, they're looking to loan him back out. It's just madness. This is absolute madness. Do you think he would have went to Saudi if he knew he was going to get loaned out? Tell me that in the comments. Um, when it comes to Abada, I think Abada's gone nowhere. Abada had um, a great game against Ross County. He scored yesterday in the 3-1 victory over Aberdeen. And I think uh, Abada's going to be a brilliant player. He's going to be the one to watch this summer. In more Celtic transfer news, yes, there's even more this morning. This is a story that we first spoke about a couple of weeks ago. And um, it was one that was met with, uh, let me see, it was a bit of a, uh, really? No, not for us. But the speculation from Newcastle, this transfer window does not seem to be going away from Celtic and Ryan Fraser. Tell me what you think about that. Ryan Fraser, yes, the ex-Aberdeen player, Ryan Fraser. Um, it looks like that Celtic might be ready to do a deal for this, but he has been told he has no future at Newcastle. Um, Eddie Howe has basically said they need to sort out all sorts of difficulties, trying to find possible f suitors for some of their players, um, in particular Ryan Fraser. Would you take Ryan Fraser? Ah, that's a hard one, it's a hard one. Uh, Fraser said that he's attracted uh, interest from likes of Everton and Norwich City, but there has been speculation that Celtic are keen to take the winger north of the border before the transfer window closes. Big shock news this morning. It has been on the go for a couple of weeks this one. I mean, I, I did speak about it a couple of weeks ago. I didn't think there was much to it, but the fact that he's no replacement for Jota. Absolutely not. He's not a Jota replacement. No way. No way at all. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. Um, Celtic have said they're looking for a winger. We've all said we're looking for a winger. He adds to the Scottish contingent. That's the only reason I could think that Celtic might go for him. And when it comes to the, the European scene, you have to have a certain quota of Scottish players. Okay? Uh, we don't really need another midfield player. You know, but... I'm not too sure about this one, so you can tell me in the comments. Tell me in the comments what you think, because it is the one Celtic fans view, and then we'll get as much of your comments up later. Uh, there probably will be a live this evening, so make sure that you have subscribed for that. Let's talk about this in the live this evening. Let's talk about Ryan Fraser in the live this evening. Let's talk about the fact that Gustav has admitted that he's on his way to Celtic. And move over Matt O'Reilly. Move over Matt O'Reilly. Let's talk about Nor Big Rocky. Let's talk about Rocky as well. Let's talk about Rocky because he was absolutely immense for Celtic yesterday. I think once Cameron Carter Vickers is 100% fit, and if you ask me that little tweak that he felt on his hamstring yesterday was all about his fitness, the fact that he's trying to get up to speed with his, his fitness uh, by playing games, it is a really risky strategy that, but, um, you know, he felt that slight tweak and that's why he was taken off at half time. Stephen Welsh come in and did absolutely fantastic yesterday. You know, so um, I'm not too worried about that. It is good that we're going to get this other guy in, Gustav, um, the Swede. So yeah, it's fine. It's all fine. Let's talk about it this evening. Make sure that you uh, will be on roughly about quarter past seven Celtic part time. So on that note, have a great day, Celtic fans all around the world. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the